We're looking at number 31. Number 31 wants us to find the measure of angle Q and S. We're given a uh, trapezoid. We're given a trapezoid. We know that S, R is going to be parallel to P, Q. And that's about it. So we do connect the sides between P and S and Q and R. When we connect those sides, we know the relationship is going to be consecutive interior angles. So what does it mean for it to be consecutive interior angles? Well, it, what it means is that the measure of angle P plus the measure of angle S is equal to 180. And then we also have the measure of angle Q plus the measure of angle R is equal to 180. That's all it means. So, make a long story short, if we know the angle of P, then we can find S. If we know R, we can find Q. So, we're going to first find the measure of S. So, we have the measure of angle S. For this one, it would be 180 is equal to 104 plus the measure of angle S. Subtract 104 to both sides. So you would get 180 minus 104 would be 76. So 76 is equal to the measure of angle S. And then to find the measure of angle Q would be 180 is equal to 41 plus measure of angle Q. We subtract 41. Subtract 41. 180 minus 40 would be 140, so 139 is equal to the measure of angle Q. There we go, 139. Double check in the calculator, 180 minus 41 is 139. There we go. That is number 31.